Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get into your reading, Sag. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month of November 2020. We're starting off the month very well. <laughs> you have the Ace of Pentacles here with the Two of Wands. Wow, there is a lot of progress in regards to your future, in regards to expansion for some of you guys. With the Seven of Wands, there's going to uh, there's gonna be a need for you to stand your ground. There's going to be a need for you to be confident and believe in yourself. With the Three of Cups, uh, there's definitely going to be celebratory type of energy. Of course, we all know the holidays are coming around. They're right around the corner. Uh, a lot of um, gatherings or being very supportive by family and those around you. You have the Six of Swords. So there is progress. There's movement. I see you guys being like almost... Like there is this new burst of energy where you start to focus on the future, where you have aspirations and you're believing in yourself uh, and you're going to basically shoot for the stars. And now is the time to do so because there is major transformation here for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that have been trying to get a job. Now is the time to start applying as I do see people being very receptive to your energy, Sagittarius. You guys have a tendency of being extremely lucky. Uh, when it comes through like through difficult situations, you guys, uh, you know, have had past couple of years, uh, very difficult energy to deal with, but you guys are definitely being blessed this month. And the, you know, I think all this year actually has been much more better than in the past for you guys. And now is the time to really seize that. Uh, with the world card, there is an ending cycle, but also a new beginning. And that new beginning is making you more assertive. It's making you more stronger. Um, try the best you can not to get wrapped up into uh, things that are not of importance. So what I mean by that is if people around you are being negative um, or even friends start to be like negative or, or you catch them being a bit negative or talking bad about you, Learn to not take things personal. So what I mean by that is don't allow other people to have a say in how your day goes. So what I mean by that is if you're feeling awesome and amazing and you're focused and then you hear someone being negative or talking about, you know, uh, you're shooting for the stars or what you're trying to do is not going to happen. Try to brush that off because I feel that it's going to be very important for you guys to be focused this month. Um, for a lot of you guys, yes, you will get to the point of feeling like you're able to celebrate some type of victory, whether it be, uh, some of you guys, like I said, trying to get a job for others of you guys trying to put money on the side because you're looking towards the future. For some of you guys could be even looking towards, uh, purchasing a home, a new residency or changing residency. And I do see that unfolding for you guys in a positive aspect. But I also see, you know, people being around or perhaps being negative Nancy's. Um, so just brush that off. Don't let it hinder you. Don't let it affect you. With the Hanged Man and the Page of Swords, I do encourage you guys to not wait for things to happen. If you're putting yourself out there as an example to try to get a job, don't wait for someone to tell you, oh, yeah, they are hiring. Like, go out there and make it happen. Nowadays, you could do everything online. So again, it's it's about seizing the moment. It's about seizing those opportunities that are unfolding for you, uh, Sagittarius. Try the best you can not to put yourself in a situation of looking towards the past. Uh, this is something that is going to be very important unfolding from now. I want to say all the way to December. It's going to be very important to really put your energy and your effort towards focusing on the future, not the past. If you really want to cut ties from the past, if you really want to move on and don't want to continue dealing with the same cycle that c keeps coming up in your life, you have to take those experiences, learn from them, uh, and keep pushing. Stop looking towards the past. Stop putting yourself in the past. Uh, stop even dealing with people from the past, people that are not 
you know, consistent, people that are very inconsistent, that come to you whenever it's beneficial for them, walk away from that, cut the cords to that and move forward. This is going to bring you momentum. This is going to help you grow. This is going to continuously keep helping you uh, walking towards a better future, a more stable future for some of you guys. So again, it's about intention, determination, and not giving up Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and we'll see each other soon. Bye.